Pretty interesting debate last night. Venture capitalist and author J.D. Vance joins me now. We invited Tim Ryan as well. We hope he'll join us uh, on another day. J.D., welcome. Good to have you. What did you think of last night's debate? Well, I think it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed the opportunity to get to talk, of course, to the Ohio voters, but also to push back on so many of the lies and the dishonesties uh, that Tim Ryan has been running with over the last, the last couple of years. Uh, the thing that I really enjoyed about it, Martha, is just that it was very clear that he had a few particular canned lines. He had a few particular talking points, but he couldn't actually address the substance of almost any question. And I think it's pretty pathetic that after 20 years, the guy just doesn't care about the details of public policy. He clearly doesn't care about the details of getting things done. That might explain his record of failure over the last 20 years. So I want to get to the moment between the two of you, a uh, very sensitive story, obviously, about this 10-year-old girl. Um, but before I do that, I just want to clar clarify one part of what he said last night. He, he called you an ass kisser, and he was referring to a comment by the former President Trump, who made a comment to that effect at a rally about a month ago about you. What do you say to that? Well, I think the president was telling a joke about a New York Times story that got on his nerves. I actually talked to the president before he made that comment. I talked to the president after he made that comment. Uh, he was telling a joke. And uh, like I said last night during the debate, I'm not too interested in taking a lecture from self-respect from a guy like Tim Ryan, who has literally publicly begged Chuck Schumer for support and begged Chuck Schumer for a job promotion. I mean, if, if Tim Ryan can talk like that, he doesn't need to be giving lectures about dignity. Yeah, you know, there's an interesting piece today about the lonesome run of Tim Ryan because he has portrayed himself as a moderate in Ohio. Uh, he's not getting a, a lot of support from the Democrat National Party. What does that tell you about this race? Well, I think that's a little bit of, a, of, 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 of an untruth there, Martha, not from you, but from the Ryan campaign. I mean, they've gotten a ton of support from the National Democratic Party. Uh, they've gotten 30, 40, 50 million dollars that have poured into this race on behalf of Tim Ryan, they're whining because they're not getting even more support. But the guy's actively unlimited resources, unlimited TV commercials. The problem for Tim Ryan is that his TV commercials are telling lies. They're telling a story that he's a moderate when, in fact, in fact, he votes with Joe Biden, Biden and Nancy Pelosi 100 percent of the time. So I'm not surprised. Guy is that Ryan is complaining that he's not getting even more money, but he's gotten a lot of support and he's used that support to try to pull one over on us in Ohio. Uh, look. Well, you know, it, the uh, leadership oh, committee, the Senate Mr. leadership Ryan committee has poured about $30 million into your race. Ohio is not a place where they expected to have to do that. So, what do you say to Republicans about why this was has been such a, a very tight race in a place that uh, has been reliably red in recent elections? Well, I think there are a couple of things, Martha. I mean, first is that he spent a Republican primary. Uh, the second thing is, I'm not sure it actually is that tight, Martha. If you remember the polls in 2020, Donald Trump was, was going was to lose by a point, maybe win Ohio by a point. Of course, he won by eight points. The, the simple fact is a lot of the people who are most dedicated to me and to my campaign are not going to trust a pollster question, in part because Joe Biden, the president of the United States, is calling them extremists for voting for the wrong people. And I will say, if people want to help us fight back and get our message out there, they can support us at JDVance.com. But we're going to win, Martha. We're going to win this race. Let me just play another moment from last night. Let's watch this. We can't ignore the level of extremism that we're hearing from J.D. Vance on this position. No exceptions for rape and incest, right? If you get raped, J.D. Vance and others are going to say you have to have that baby. State-mandated pregnancies for a rape victim? That is so far out of the mainstream, it's not even funny. I absolutely think the 10-year-old girl, the case that we've, of course, heard a lot about, that girl should be able to get an abortion if she and her family so choose to do so. The thing they never mentioned is that poor girl was raped by an illegal alien, somebody that should have never been in this state in the first place. You voted so many times against border wall funding, so many times for amnesty, Tim. If you had done your job, she would have never been raped in the first place. So obviously that was a powerful exchange, um, but it also raised some questions about things you've said previously about your stance on abortion. So I want to give you an opportunity to, to clarify that. You had said in the past that two wrongs don't make a right and that you didn't believe in exceptions for rape or incest. Have you changed your stance on that, given what you said last night? Well, look, Martha, two wrongs don't make a right, but at the end of the day, I think we live in a democratic society. 
Uh, we live in a society where obviously people are going to disagree about where to draw the line. And I've always been pretty clear, Martha, that legally, I think that we should draw the line and that in that specific case, that particular girl, I think, should be able to get an abortion. And the other point that I made, Martha, pretty consistently is the media is really preoccupied with so-called extremism from Republicans on the abortion issue. I've always defended reasonable exceptions, again, as a legal matter. The question is, why are Democrats supporting 40-week-old abortions? Why are they preventing doctors actually voting for legislation that would prevent doctors from providing care to a baby who, who survived the botched abortion. Uh, so I, I just don't take the bait on this issue where the Democrats call us extremists, even as they're supporting radical pro-choice, pro-abortion policies that would be uh, completely unacceptable anywhere in the uh, civilized world. I, I got to squeeze in one more quick question for you, and that is sure. with regard to Ukraine. Um, you have at one point said you didn't really care what happened to Ukraine. Where do you stand now? The former president, Donald Trump, has said time to get to the negotiating table. President Biden says that we have to give them everything they need. Which camp are you in? Uh, I'm very clearly in the let's get, <clears throat> excuse me, to the negotiating table, Martha. I mean, one of the things that really was crazy that Tim Ryan said last night that didn't get a whole lot of attention is he said we needed to respond to a nuclear attack by Vladimir Putin in a very forceful way. What, is it, what does that mean? Does that mean we're launching nuclear weapons ourselves and then we're ending human civilization? The only thing, the only responsible thing to do with this, Martha, is to try to bring this conflict to an end before it gets to the point of nuclear weapons. You can believe, as I do, that the Ukrainians are brave people, that Vladimir Putin is a bad guy without pushing United States on the brink of nuclear war. What Biden, what Tim Ryan, what these guys are doing is incredibly irresponsible. Okay. Uh, J.D. Vance, thank you very much. As I mentioned, we've invited Tim Ryan to bring us his side of this campaign, and we look forward to that as well. J.D. Vance, thank you very much. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.